Mind of the Meanie is now an exclusive brand partner with WWEShop.com. Pick up all your favorite new merchandise from Roman Reigns. Acknowledge me. Cody Rhodes. I have to finish the story. LA Knight. Let me talk to you. And more using our exclusive link in the show notes. Click below and show your support today for your favorite WWE superstar at WWEShop.com. Yeah! Dr. Fisher's Medical Weight Loss and Aesthetic Centers, along with Mind the Meanie Podcast, presents Meanie Mania, a paper brew kickoff event, Thursday night, April 4th, 7 p.m. to 2 a.m., 21 and older to attend with no cover at McCusker's Tavern on the corners of 17th and Shunk at 2601 South 17th Street in South Philly. Come hang out with ECW original and WWE alumni, the Blue Meanie, at his favorite bar on the planet, McCusker's Tavern. McCusker's is the perfect spot to kick off your Mania week and go to for a pre- and post-wrestling event hang. Remember, McCusker's is cash only, but they do have an ATM on site. Lyft, Uber, and taxi services are highly recommended to and from McCusker's. Seven minutes from Lincoln Financial Field, 10 minutes from the 2300 Arena, and 15 minutes from Center City. Meanie Mania is also brought to you by Dr. Fisher's Medical Weight Loss and Aesthetic Centers on 2543 South Broad Street in Philadelphia. Go to bodybyfishernow.com. That's bodybyfishernow.com. Mind of the Meanie podcast drops every Monday morning at 6 a.m. And find our entire archive at mindofthemeanie.com. Meanie Mania, the pay-per-brew kickoff event, Thursday night, April 4th, 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. Meanie! Adam! What's up, dude? Oh, man. Uh, it's just t- time of the year. It's got to do the uh, the New Year's check-in, my friend. It is, dude. It is time for that. 2024 is here in full swing. And you know what that means, Meanie? It's time for a New Year's resolution check-in with our friends at Manscaped. And newsflash, it's never too late to level up your grooming game and keep your bush tamed. Manscaped's new Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra is every man's cheat code to look good, feel good, and turn the page on confidence this year. So whether you're going for a trim or that clean shave and look, the trimmer has you covered, trusted by over 10 million men worldwide. Now is your time to get a grip on your grooming with our exclusive offer, Meanie. Go to manscaped.com right now and use promo code MIND. Meanie for 20% off plus free shipping. The ball is dropped, but don't drop the ball on your balls. And Meanie, I want to know how are you holding up with your New Year's resolutions? How is everything looking in the in the in the hair department there, pal? My re- <clears throat> my resolutions have been strong, my f- friend. Between the uh, the ear and nose trimmer, the uh, the lawn mower, the 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 ball deodorant, and the foot spray and the beard trimmer, uh, they it, Manscaped has me covered from head to toe. I love it, and I have one of my re- resolutions was to make sure that I didn't have a Vagoda nose hairs sticking out of my nose. And my friend Mans, my friends at Manscaped, they have been helping me keep that resolution all year long. But also, I want to introduce the MVP of 2024, Manscaped's fifth generation lawnmower. It's not just a trimmer, pal. It's your grooming sidekick, equipped with two skin safe blade heads, a standard one for taking a little bit off the top and a foil blade to go smooth wherever your heart desires in the event you want. Little John and Eastside boys to have that nice, smooth finish. Manscaped's got you covered. It's like having a personal stylist at your fingertips, or, or well, really wherever you need it. I mean, you, you get the idea. Uh, and did we mention, Beanie, that it's waterproof? Because a trim in the shower is the only way to start a day. And for my dudes out there who want the full grooming experience like Meanie does, look no further than Manscaped's Performance Package 5.0. Inside that kit, you'll get our trusted lawnmower, the Manscaped's ear and nose hair trimmer, and the essential aftercare products like the Crop Soother, Ball Aftershave Lotion, and Crop Preserver Anti-Chafing Ball Deodorant. Yeah, dude. It's deodorant for your balls. I bet you didn't think you needed that. And as a gesture for the new year, they even threw in two free gifts, meaning the boxers and the Shed 2.0 toiletry bag, because they know damn well, pal, that you and I have been rocking the same boxer since high school. So they wanted to get us covered with whatever we needed there. And let's face it, resolutions might come and go, but a well gro- well-groomed you is here to stay, thanks to Manscaped. So, meaning go right now to manscaped.com and get 20% off plus free shipping with the promo code MIND. Meanie, that's 20% off. Plus free shipping with the promo code MIND, meaning at manscaped.com. 
embrace a new you, and definitely embrace a new trimmer, courtesy of Manscaped. And as always, we thank them for sponsoring the program. This is the Mind of the Meanie. Here are your hosts, the Blue Meanie and Adam Barnard. Peace world and welcome to the Mind of the Meanie, a weekly peek into the world according to former WWE superstar and ECW original, the Blue Meanie. We'll cover wrestling, music, movies, sports, and lots and lots of useless knowledge all contained in the Mind of the Meanie. I am your tour guide, Adam Barnard, and he is the Blue Meanie. Meanie, what's on your mind? Well, I tried. I tried it, man. I tried. I tried being like one of those New Japan fans who could wake up at like ungodly hours and watch pro wrestling, but uh, couldn't do it. Uh, as we record uh, February twenty fourth at ten twenty three a.m., Elimination Chamber live from uh, Australia, and not uh, not Austria like our truth. Uh, did a video <laughs> saying he was in Austria. It's like, oh, no, we're on, no. No. But, uh, oh, we're on, no. But at least he got some freaker flyer miles, I guess. Um, yeah, I tried to watch it. So, uh, and I've kindly asked the pod squad for no, uh, no spoilers. Yes. Uh, because as soon as I'm done, finish, as soon as I'm finished watching this, I am going back and, uh, I'm going to go watch from, Jump Street. I've totally had a social media blackout. Wow. You know, which means a lot because, you know, first thing in the morning, I wake up, I get some coffee, I sit there and, you know, do the whole, do the, the one handed cell phone gimmick, yeah. you know, where you're just strolling. <laughs> yeah. I got, yeah. I got, I got phone pinky. <laughs> I think my, I think my pinky's permanently starting to bend. Yep. The, yeah. Well, this one did it because I had an accident, but right. this one's just doing it from social media. You know, it's starting that. to look like fucking Chuck Bagneric over here with my fucking pinky. <laughs> or When I grab bottles, I do this now. Like, why am I doing this? Why do I grab it like this? Why does my pinky bend? It doesn't make any sense to me. It's because yeah, my, 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 my fingers are start. <laughs> this. What's his name? <laughs> uh, my fingers are starting to look like, like Brian Baldinger from an you know, NFL <laughs> network. Um <laughs> Thinking Denzel Washington with a pink with his fucking pinky all out, all wonky and shit. Yeah, dude, brother. But yeah, I tried. Uh, well, Paul Dinger also played, but he, he's an analyst now. But, right. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, something popped in my head. I I cannot say out loud, but uh, <laughs> I love those. And moments. even if I did, nobody know would know what the fuck I'm talking about. So. <laughs> Uh, I like when I pop myself here and there. Um, but, uh, I'd rather pop myself than poop myself. That's true. So That's true. You know, Nothing worse so than pooping with that, your pants on. That's all I'm saying. Just pull them up tight and... <laughs> <laughs> Let them rip, brother. So we are and that, here. And, and, and that's the uh, show title. Let them... What's that? Pull them up and let it rip? No, I, I'd rather pop myself than poop myself. There we go. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I want to, I'm definitely looking forward to watching that, see how the Australian crowds are. Cause, uh, I know I'm, I loved watching the show from, uh, Puerto Rico. Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. So I, I want to see how, I want to see how an Australian crowd is. They're really, I feel like with the, with the international shows, they're really setting the tone you know, everywhere. And it's just, it's cool to see like that, you know, cause sometimes you take it for granted where it's here in, you know, nowhere, Idaho, you know, or, or, you know, mud Creek, Mississippi. And you're like, we're like the crowds are hot. Right. But you go over and you Puerto Rico and, uh, you know, the, the, uh, what was it? The clash of the castle. Where was that? That was, um, where was that? Uh, Wales, Wales. Right. And it's just the energy is just so much different, man. Because it doesn't come there all the time. You know, it's not there yeah. every day. So smart. It's a it's a good thing, but it's also a good thing to be here with you today, sir. Episode two oh five. If we're keeping I can't score, believe it. If we're keeping score correctly, you can uh, don't fact check us. But we're here today. I want to thank the Pod Squad at the top of the show for stopping by and seeing us here. 
Uh, Got a ni- nice little room going here. That's right. You can sign up today at patreon.com slash mind of the meaning. Sign up and tiers are just $10 starting at $10, and you can join us every week as we record. But, Meanie, I wanted to start the top of the program by letting you know I'm officially completed my civic duty, sir. I have Uh-oh. completed my uh, my once every three or four years duty of uh, serving on a jury. And uh, oh. I was, was uh, it was, diff- have you ever served on a jury before? You ever been called before? I've uh, been uh, selected but not kept. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah I, I, you know, years ago. Uh, I, I'm tr- I try not to jinx myself with another summons, but uh, yeah, uh, and, and, and it, I, it, I guess I, I got the thing. I went in, and the case was for uh, somebody was suing over asbestosis, right? Oh, and asbestos. I was just like, oh, this is That's- my out. So yeah. My grandfather, my grandfather, passed from <laughs> asbestosis. You know, he got asbestosis, he got cancer. Oh shit! So they're so they're like, any of you uh, have a reason why? And my arm shot right the fuck. Up. I was like, <laughs> uh, uh, me. Yeah. And then they brought me in the room. And I I let them know. I was like, hey, well, you know, my grandfather died from that, and you know, and uh, what's a sh- shoot? But you know, uh, I mean, if you're looking for a fucking like, way out of jury duty, that's the way. And uh. Yeah, I was not selected, but uh, I was spotted by uh, a wrestling fan who was also potentially. <laughs> like, hey, I don't want to say anything there, but uh, uh, enjoy your work. I was like, oh, cool, cool, cool. Thanks for not blowing. My, thanks for not blowing my cover. Thanks, man. I appreciate uh, it. Yeah. Or, or you could have told me earlier. I'd be like, I can't do a jury because this guy knows who I am. <laughs> <laughs> the defendant knows me. Yeah. Yeah. But. Oh, uh, man. No, but you got selected. Huh? I did. And you ever know, like, you ever go into something and you're like, I know this is going to happen. Like, there's no way I'm going to get out of this. I know this is going to happen. Um, I went in. It was uh, it was last Thursday. And I was, so they basically, there's a big room in Chester County and they split you up into two separate groups. And uh, I was, I went from being no, juror number 168 to juror 41. And they took us in the room and we sat down like in the courtroom and they're doing jury selection. And I'm just sitting there with my arms crossed, head down, not looking at anybody. I'm just trying to like blend in with the wall, right? Just trying to be ignored by everybody. And so they seat everybody and they go, okay, everybody's here. Uh, you know, the, what was it? I think it was juror number 36, sit in seat 12. And I was like, all right, dope. I don't have to do anything, right? And they go, uh, juror 41, sit in seat 13. I was like, oh, fuck. So not only do I not get to sit on an actual, not only am I like summons and kept for jury duty, I'm an alternate juror, which means I don't even get to deliberate on the case. I have to sit like, it's such a fucking pain in the ass. So they're like, all right, we're going to be here for at least three days next week. So I had to take off, you know, they, I, I was excused from work for three days. And uh, it was, uh, I think I can talk about it now. I think it's safe, safe to talk about. Um, I got, it was a case regarding a guy stealing copper from a local business here in Westchester. He would mm. like sneak, like if they had video footage, it was like 14 different counts of like criminal trespassing and burglary, right? So he would sneak in like shimmy through this fence, right? If you're looking at the screen right now, if you're looking at the recording here, there's a big white line in here. It's literally like, if you're watching the videotape, that's about as big as the opening that this guy was like shimmying yeah. through, right? Jesus uh, Christ. Um, so he'd go in and this company makes copper for copper wires and, and copper, you know, uh, plumbing and shit. And they had these things called copper bricks, which were basically, I guess, in the event that they were making something and something happened and then they'll put something out. And they were like 50 pounds and he's picking them up and throwing them over the fence like five or six at a time, right? Um, so he did it 13 times. And the way that the cops were and the detectives were able to figure out like who this guy was, like they had, you know, those cameras that sit at the top of the stoplights, the white ones yeah. that you see, those aren't just cameras. Those are fucking license plate readers. So oh. if you're at, if you're at like broad and chunk and they have one there or wherever the cross street is, they're reading your license plate. Every time you drive by that, they have a record of every time you drove by it. And they were able to basically identify this person by his license plates two different cars he was driving, connected them to who these people were. And then when he drove by, they got an alert. The detective got an alert on his phone and they set up a whole like sting operation where they caught him. 
Um, oh, wow. So, I mean, he was, I mean, it was, it was, they proved that the, the prosecution proved their case beyond a reasonable doubt as far as I was concerned um, based upon the evidence. And uh, I think he's looking at 21 years in jail Jesus. On, top of, on top of other stuff he had already been dealing with before. And I oh, was like, okay. Yeah, he's, he's on, he was on parole for something else. And uh, 21 years was his, uh, his, his maximum sentence is what he's looking at. Um, but yeah, it was, a, it was an interesting process, man. It was like, you know, it's not like Law and Order, you know, and anybody who's ever been through it, it's not like that at all. It's just, you're there and, and it's, it's very like, there's no excitement to it. It's not like it's like, you know, objection. They're not like screaming at each other, you know, like there's nothing yeah. like that. But um, yeah, it was the watching the video footage though, man, was a, a special kind of torture. I have to say it was dark. It was like <laughs> infrared camera. And, you know, you watch the first one. You're like, OK, I got the idea of what he's doing. And then they show you it 13 more times. And you're like, oh, my God. Like, OK, we get it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we fucking get it. We got we got what he's doing, right? Even the judge at one point, he was like, we can relatively assume that these, you know, processes are all the same, right? Like, we don't have to show all this footage, right? So, uh, yeah, but it was it was something, man. So glad it's uh glad it's over. I don't have to serve again for another three or four years. But um They always get you when you re renew your fucking license. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fucking yes. brutal. Yep. The last time but, got, uh, the last time I got selected was was federal jury duty. I would have had to come to Philly. Oh. And um, I got my summons and they, they pretty much tell you, like, unless you're dead or incapacitated, there's no, we don't accept any kind of like outs, you know? It's like, oh, fuck. So I get my summons and they're like, you have to report and the days you have to report were March 16th and March 17th of 2020. And so the world had just literally had shut down like a week before. So we get this call from them and they're like, oh yeah, you don't have to come in anymore. You know, we're, we'll reschedule you. And then I never heard from them again. So <laughs> yeah, after don't, listening, don't they're probably listening. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully uh, uh, none, none of the people who do the scheduling are fans of the show or if they're fans of the show, they can get us out of it. Listen, um, that'd be great. Get us fucking just excused from it again. So yeah. But yeah, I, I, I know people who, want to do that stuff and i'm just like who are you yeah 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 why 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 yeah i, I and like they, they're like yes i'm like what mm -hmm. you're, you're you're special that's that's <laughs> that's a special kind of torture it really you is. know just yeah just uh, crammed in with people i don't know mm -hmm. judging people yeah. stuff you yeah know. dude I never met any of these people before in my life. Never seen them before. Never going to see them again. And um, it was, we were walked, we walked down to, so from the courthouse, we walked and we went to this place called Carlino's, which is a little like, uh, it's like an Italian, like a shop down there in Westchester on Market Street. And one of the other cases, <coughs> excuse me, the other group that got selected outside of us um, in the other room, they're dealing with, I think, a murder case. They're going to be there for at least three weeks. Ooh. I was like, oh my God, how long? They were like, yeah, about three weeks. So I think we're going to be here. I was like, oh my God. Like I couldn't. So what were they taking? Did, did they take them out for lunch or? So um, when you deliberate, when you go to deliberations, they typically will buy you food. They'll buy you like dinner or lunch, depending on when the, the prosecution and the defense settles. Like they bought us dinner when we were going in to deliberate. Um, we have to essentially pay for our own stuff, but they give you. Like, I, I wish I had my wallet handy. They give you something called a court card now, right? Instead of giving you a check, you get paid. So in Pennsylvania, if you serve in PA, you get paid $9 a day for the first three days you have to serve jury duty. And any day after that that you're involved, it's $25, right? And also in PA and in, in New Jersey, you want to check your local laws, but your, your employer is required to keep your job. Like, you can't be fired for serving on jury duty. So check yeah. your local stuff too, but... Um, yeah, so I they, they gave you this card, which essentially is like, hey, for after like the first week, like you can go and buy yourself lunch while you're in town or whatever. But um, yeah, they they typically will buy you. It depends on the case, right? I was worried about getting a murder case and then I was worried about being sequestered. Because- Oh my God. If you're sequestered, like we would not be doing the show right now. It would be right. like, I'd have to text you and be like, yo, dude, <laughs> who can we get to fill in for the next couple of weeks? Like, can Schlichter right. do it? Yeah. Um, so, it, yeah, it was, I was like, <laughs> I was kind of nervous about that, to be honest with you. Um, for a multitude of me on my reasons. phone, you know, just, 
they recorded myself on my phone, you know, <laughs> try, trying not to lose my shit. It's just like, all right, I'm 20 minutes in. What else do I got to talk about? You know, but, you know. <laughs> I'm recording so, from jail, like I'm from jail, like leaving you voicemails, like, meanie, get yeah. me the fuck out of here. Yep. Oh, yeah. Playing oh. Dusty Rhodes, hard, uh, playing bus, uh, Big Boss Man's Hard Times theme, you know. <laughs> Just on repeat, like this week is just going to be us doing this, right? We're yeah. going to go all the way back in the archives to an episode we did. It's a three-hour episode from 2021. Enjoy. So, no, but like yeah. I said, I'm, I'm glad I had the experience. I'm, <laughs> I'm glad it's over. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, but, um, yeah, definitely definitely was uh, was an interesting and unique kind of, you know, perspective seeing behind how all that works. But, um, yeah, it's been uh, it's been interesting. But what else is interesting coming up? It is the end of February. We are officially on yeah. the road to WrestleMania. And I know folks are listening to us right now. They know that we're based. They're everybody's favorite Philadelphia podcast, uh, especially their favorite Philadelphia wrestling <laughs> podcast. Um, so I want to know um, as we start. Maybe we should start doing this every week. We kind of come up with some different places. Uh, that people can visit while they're here and getting yeah. food. So I want to know, meaning we'll start with everybody's favorite topic. We'll start with cheesesteaks. You know, meanie. What's that, Adam? We hear this a lot. Every CBD company tells you that their product is the best. With quality control measures like lab testing and QR codes now becoming the standard, it can start to seem like all CBD brands are the same, but I'm here to tell you something, meanie. They are not. Knowing what makes certain brands better will help you spend your money more wisely and have more confidence as you incorporate CBD oils, topicals, capsules, or gummies into your own wellness routine. And that's why we're proud to partner with Green Road CBD as an official sponsor of Mind of the Meanie. And Meanie, I know you're a longtime user of Green Road CBD. How has Green Road CBD helped you in your life? Let me tell you, Green Road CBD is, is a product I've been using for years and uh, when we started Mind and Meanie, I always was, was like, let's get Green Roads as a, as a sponsor because I use them almost daily, uh, whether it's the gummies, you know, to take care of the aches and pains of 30 years of, of wrestling, the topical solutions uh, that help my knees, help my back, help my elbows, help my shoulders. Green Road CBD has done everything to help me maintain uh, a pain-free existence from all the years of wear and tear as a professional wrestler. And to me, Meanie, that sounds like the Green Road's difference. And it comes down to a really few important points. They're just part of the reason that they've won industry awards year after year, earned thousands of five-star reviews, and have heard countless stories from customers just like you about the impact that those products have had on your life. So Green Roads is led by a, co a compounding pharmacist with 25 years of experience helping her community getting healthy. For her and the entire company, it's more than just a job. It's a mission. And not all hemp sourcing is equal, meaning I'm not sure if you're aware of that. But they select, our, they select their hemp from high-quality American farms. And also, not all lab testing is equal, which is why they use an accredited independent lab to conduct full panel tests on every single batch. That's why Green Roads is an original manufacturer, not just a quote-unquote white label brand. So right now, you can go to greenroads.com, meaning, and save 25% off of your entire purchase. Wow. 25% off of everything, meaning. That's huge. And all you have to do is go to their website right now, greenroads.com, and use promo code MEANI at checkout. It's 25% off your entire purchase by using promo code MEANI at greenroads.com. Own the day with Green Road CBD, and we thank them for sponsoring the program. Where would you yeah. recommend everybody who's coming to Philadelphia stop to get a cheesesteak while they're here? This is probably the hardest question uh, because you can throw a rock and hit any a, a number of any great cheesesteak places in South Philly. And yeah, everybody knows about Pat's. Everybody knows about Gino's and they're respectable, you know. Uh, but I mean, you can, you know, walk down, you know, if you're at the uh, 2300 arena and you're going out the front door, make a left, go down to Snyder and then make a right. And there's John's roast pork right there, you know. Yeah. Uh, or if you're at the 2300 arena, you can make a right and go down to Oregon Avenue, make a right. There's Tony and Nick's, which used to be Tony Luke's, but mm -hmm. so many good options. Um, you know, uh, 
if you if you want to take a little bit of a drive, you'd go up Oregon Avenue, make a right on Patchogue Avenue, and you got Phil's. Yeah, you know. But the, uh, the there's a new spot. Uh, I'm blanking on the ad. Well, it's like right here in South Philly called uh, Angelo's. Oh, there I had those just by the kindness of somebody who uh, I was at Icons. Mm. And uh, a couple fans came up. They're like, hey, uh, you're the reason why we go to John's Rose, Rose Pork now. Uh, would you like a sandwich from there? I go, oh, my God, that's too kind. Uh, but sure. And uh, 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 John's Rose Pork was closed for renovations or something. Oh, no. So they went over to Angelo's, stood in line, bought me a cheesesteak, brought me a cheesesteak from Angelo's. I swear it was probably one of the best cheesesteaks I've ever had. Wow. Just, uh, you know, uh, between the meat, the way they, they melt the uh, the cheese into the meat. Yeah. And uh, they they bake their own bread right there on the premises. Oh, shit. Yeah, so it's it's really good. But, uh, yeah, you know, there's so many good places in South Philly yeah. um, for cheesesteaks. You know, uh, you can go to any mom and pop shop. Yeah, there's, you know, uh, City Pizza. They, they make pretty good cheesesteak. There's Oregon... Oregon Steaks on Oregon Avenue. Mm-hmm. It's very good. And the cool thing about, you know, uh, Oregon Steaks is they uh, deliver 24-7. Oh, no shit. So if, you know, say you're coming to, for a chance, if you're staying in South Philly for WrestleMania uh, and you need a cheesesteak overnight, <laughs> <laughs> Oregon Steaks there, I believe it's on 10th and Oregon. You yeah. just call them up and they'll... they'll They'll bring you a, a couple cheesesteaks. So, like I said, yeah, that th- this will be the hardest question yeah. to have to answer because there's so many good places. There's there's Phil's on Pashonk, Angelo's in South Philly, uh, Tony and Nick's right there on Oregon Avenue, uh, right right where uh, Oregon meets Front Street, uh, John's Rose Pork on Snyder Avenue, uh, right by right behind uh, Lowe's. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there's there's so many so many great. What, what what do you prefer? I mean, so I I, I, a, I, hold on. Let me cut I you off real quick before. No, okay. you, let me say, many of many an argument have been made over the the uh, the subject of a good cheesesteak in South Philly. Uh-huh. I've seen many of p- arguments. You know, like you would think they were talking about politics. Yes. The way people or, or a sports team like with me, I like go to this place. You like to go there? Yeah. Why? Oh my God! Yo, cuz you know. But uh, <laughs> this is Game probably point. one of them. You know, uh, people in South, people in Philly argue over cheesesteaks the way people in Connecticut argue over pizza. Yeah, they claim they have the best pizza. So uh, I didn't mean to cut you off there, but oh. I had to had to. Uh, do that preamble or postamble, whatever the fuck it's called. You're good, man. Now this is this is this is the this. I love talking about this stuff with you because it's it's always fun for me when people come to Philly, right? Yeah. And and I'm, I'm they they like look at me. They're like, hey, you're the guy. You're the Philly guy. Like, tell us where to go. And I'm like, ah, let's fucking go. You know, like you. Yeah, of course. I'm here for it. So yeah. Um, I would say, I mean, you know, well, let me ask you this before I give you my recommendations, because you hit a ton yes, of the sir. great ones, right? The yeah. Ar- the argument is always, oh, uh, uh, when I come in, where do I go? Do I go to Gino's or do I go to Pets? Um, and I always say it's the tourist traps, right? Like that's like, it, it's yeah. not that they're terrible. It's just like, you're not going to get the Philly experience, right? Like, and right. I'll, I'll quantify that in a second. But for your money, if, if the blue guy, was out there spending <laughs> some some blue bucks on a cheesesteak yes, at two o'clock in the morning, which is what I would do. Um, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer Geno's Between... or do you prefer Pat's? <sighs> it, uh, it depends. It's like flip a coin, right? Uh, yeah. Geno's is good, but you'll eat one and then you'll probably want one more right after that. Yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah. Uh, Pat's. Well, here, here, here's the thing with Pat's. Pat's cheese steaks, right? Uh, very good. I like the way they do their fried onions because mm. I have to get a, I have to get fried onions on the cheese steak. Yes. 
But with hats, uh, you kind of get, you could say you got a cheesesteak from the place where the cheesesteak was pretty much invented. The, the, the first ever cheesesteak sandwich was made there where, where uh, Pat's is. Mm. The, the story is the guy was selling hot dogs. And uh, I guess he ran out of hot dogs and he had leftover like steak meat. So I just served that up and served it on a on a hot dog roll. And the first guy who had it came, came back the next day and said, hey, man, you got those uh, steak sandwiches things? And that basically that was the birth of the cheesesteak. And, you know, here we are all these years later, you know, talking about it. But mm-hmm. if I had to get right now, gun to my head, I had to pick between Pat's and Gina's. I'm definitely picking Pat's. I agreed. Yeah. I, I think I would always, because Pat's has the way they chop it up, right? Like I, I love the way that they actually like, there's a specific way you're supposed to make it and you chop it and you throw the onions in and just everything is mixed together. It, it, it smells good. Yeah. Um, Gino's just kind of lays the meat out, which is not necessarily like terrible, but like if I'm eating something at, you know, two in the morning, I don't want to be using my hands to pull it apart. I'm already going to be messy enough, right? Like I it, it's like it's like homemade steakums. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. And it's like I'd rather just go somewhere that's going to mix it all together and make it right the first time. Um yeah, I'm going to Pats. If I'm in the area and I'm going to do that, I'm going to Pats every single time. So, um, uh, the beauty of a cheesesteak, the the artistry yes. of a cheesesteak is when you 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 know, you're chopping it cooking it chopping it you throw in the onions you chop it a little bit more then you lay you lay the, the cheese on top of the steak yeah you get that little uh like the looks like a frying uh frying pan lid yeah you put that on top yeah the, which you know makes the, the cheese steak melt even quicker then you take that off and then you flip the steak over on top of the cheese so the cheese is melted in with the steak. Yeah. And then you put the bread on top of the fucking steak and you put the spatula sp- mm-hmm. the spatula underneath, flip it over, and you know what cheesesteak is good. When you bite into it, you chew it, and you go to swallow it, and it takes up every pa- ounce of <laughs> air pocket in your fucking throat. Stuck to- there almost, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, to where you're like... Uh, am I going to have to call an ambulance? <laughs> I think uh, I'm going to die here. Yeah. 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 But uh, yeah, that's the that's the perfect cheesesteak. When you take a bite and just the cheese and the meat and the onions just slowly just take up every air pocket in your throat and you're yeah. just like, oh my God. This, if I'm going to die, this is the way to do it. <laughs> this is the best. I can't imagine any other way to go but this right now. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I agree. I think, um, <laughs> excuse me. I think there's a lot of great options. Um, and again, too, that's our that's our official Mind of the Meanie recommendation. If you're coming to town and you're going to go do the tourist stuff, go to Pat's. Gino's is all flash and no bang. Pat's is the way to go. Um, and it's not that I dislike Gino's. It's just if we're talking about it in this context, like it's just, it's not my choice, right? Like I don't, you know, look, if I'm offered a Gino steak, I'll eat it, right? Because I'm probably hungry at that point. But um, I'd rather, I'd rather have Pat's. So... And I gotta put this disclaimer out there. I know there's gonna be people watching this video, and they're gonna go, "What about Del Sandro's?" Uh, I'm specifically talking to people who are coming to town for WrestleMania. Uh, you're gonna want to eat somewhere near the stadium. Yes. So this is how I'm qualifying it. Yep. If you're coming to Philly for WrestleMania, you're staying near the stadium, or you're staying in Center City, and Want to take a, a Lyft or an Uber over to a spot to get something to eat on your way over to Mania? These are the spots in South Philly. I'm 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 qualifying it by South because I know I'm going to get some Northeast fucking yeah. Philly people going. Yo, yeah. cuz, uh, what about yeah, so and so? I was on on the boulevard, or <laughs> brother. I'm talking about South Philly. Yeah, you know, like when you know I we you know we sp- when we celebrate any sports teams. Good luck. I always say I'd rather be on the corner of Broad and Chunk and people are like, how about Frankfurt and Cotman? I was like, well, I live in South Philly. Yeah. And you're <laughs> you're encouraging me to uh, drink and drive, so please don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Uh, yeah, not a good idea. Never. I'm, South Philly joints or Johns. Johns. Uh, this is our list of 
great South Philly Johns. Right. Now, it depends on where you're staying. Like Meanie said, you have to quali- you have to quantify it by like, it depends on where you're going to be in the city, right? Because there's a yeah. lot of places you can get to uh, from an Uber, right? And a lot of places in Philly will Uber Eats, they'll DoorDash. Like there's a lot of shit you can do while you're there. So even if you can't get down there, it's not going to be terrible, right? Because um, you can still get it. But if you want the experience, like I said, you want to go to Pat's, you want to go to uh, John's Roast Pork, I think is-, is John's like, Roast that's, Pork. That's the spot, man. I mean, there's yeah. you'll get a good cheesesteak. You get a good ro- roast pork sandwich. I mean, there's there's so many there's so many options. Me prefer like my preference is to go to a place that looks like it's on the border of failing the health department inspection. Yes, right? it has a C rating in the window. It kind of smells funny. Um, they have every kind of potato chip imaginable, but you know you're going to yes. get a ball and ass fucking cheesesteak when you walk in the door. Right, you're taking your life into your hands when you walk into these places. They had the good grease. Um, yes, yeah, because they haven't cleaned it since the bicentennial. Yes, right. that's the place you want to go to <laughs> to get the good stuff, right? Um, but it's 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 very you know it, it's really difficult to fuck up a cheesesteak unless you're the kind of person that puts green peppers on a cheesesteak, like <laughs> uh, or or raw onions. Like what? Seek like stop. Put yeah. the sandwich down. And seek the immediate counsel of Christ because there is no reason <laughs> to put green peppers on a fucking cheese. Like it's disgusting. Here's what you do with something like that, meaning, and I'm sure you can, you can, uh, you can, you can agree with this. You take the sandwich after it's been made. You walk to the nearest trash can and you dramatically drop it in, let it fall out of your hands, and get a real fucking cheesesteak because that's disgusting. Yep. And that was the one beef and one gripe I had with these folks in Pittsburgh. That doesn't work for me, brother. But. Um, if you're looking for something that's like a little different, a little bit more, what I would say, an upscale joint, Cleavers is the place to go. Like, I love oh. that spot. Cleavers is down on 18th and Chestnut. It's between. Okay. So on 18th, it sits between Sansom and Chestnut. Okay. They use um, ribeye steak for their cheesesteaks. I almost said Wagyu, but I, uh, I, I reached it <laughs> wrong there. Um, <laughs> the Wagyu beef. Uh, so I was going to say, it's a. <laughs> <laughs> I popped myself for a second. I don't know if you caught me, but I, I popped myself. Yeah, um, yeah. But the ribeye steak is what they use. It's a fantastic place. They also have sweet potato waffle fries with like a oh my god, like a white cheese that you can dip it in. It is like exquisite. So if you get a chance to go, it's right down in Center City too. So you can definitely catch an Uber to go down there. I think they're open until like one or two o'clock in the morning. They also have a pretty uh, pretty solid. Uh, beer selection down there. So if you're looking to like kind of go and enjoy That's yourself, perfect. that would be yeah. the place I would, again, so it's eight, it's on 18th street between Sansom and uh, Chestnut. It's right down in center city. So that is always my recommendation for folks who are looking for something that's like, if they're in center city and they want to go do stuff, right? Um, Northeast, I would rec, and I always, I always wanted to, I always want to recommend gym steaks as well, but I know that they're still closed because of the, yeah, they had the fire. So it's, um, I don't know if they're going to be open before, um, WrestleMania. I know that they've been trying to, you know, they've been working and I think they had a GoFundMe for a while. They're wonderful people. It's, I think personally, my favorite like name brand cheesesteak in the city, right? Like, like with name association, that's my, that's my go-to spot. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing them again when they're open. But um, what's the one that's down there on the boulevard, on Roosevelt Boulevard? What's the name of that joint? Is that Steve's? Steve's uh, Prince of Steaks. That's the one. Yeah. Uh, I, well, here's another thing. If you're, I think he's got a, a place in the Reading Terminal Market, yes. which if you're coming to Philly for Mania, the Reading Terminal Market is, it, I know we're talking about cheesesteaks now. But the Reading Terminal Market is the place to go to to eat a little bit of everything. Yes. In one spot. Yes. Uh, and I believe Steve's has a cheesesteak spot in the Reading Terminal Market. I could be wrong, but I, I, I believe he does. And before I forget, I mentioned Angelo's uh, <laughs> for a great cheesesteak there at 736 9th Street in uh, South Philly. So yeah. if you're uh, in Mania... Uh, if you're in Philly for mania, if you're in mania in Philly, uh, <laughs> which is always what you're doing when you're in Philly, you're in mania, yeah, right? Yeah. So, so uh, yeah, Angelo's man. That yeah. and here, here's how you know a, a place is good. They got good food. They don't. They don't deliver. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You want our food? 
you come to us. Come get it. Yep. You want it? Come get it. Yes. So, and Angelo's does not. They, they they do steak and pizza, and they don't deliver. So Amazing. that's how you know the food's good. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. You you like again? You can get it on DoorDash, but it's like yeah, it's gonna be an extra like thirty dollars for us to do this. So um, yeah. No, go and like I said, if you're gonna be here, go and do the experience again. I know what the Uber prices are when I went fucking down to when I was in Detroit. And then when I was out in Tampa, like the Uber prices were insane down there. So um, make a friend. I know I got a bunch of my uh, close media friends that are coming into town for this. And uh, one of the places we're actually going to hit is Reading Terminal Market. I'll be doing a vlog for that as well all week. I'll be recording myself doing fun shit. You'll see the blue guy in there as well because I'm going to link up with him. Uh, but we're going to go to the Reading Terminal Market and we're going to explore and see these things. So, uh, but yeah, I would say Cleavers is probably, probably my recommendation. Um, but again, like, like Meanie said, you can go to any like pizzeria, any Italian deli that's in Philly, any place that's going to, that looks like it's going to serve a cheesesteak, you can get one and probably not be disappointed. Right. Um, right. I would say... I'm trying to think if there's anywhere else that I can think of. We got a bunch of people talking in a group chat about that. We lit the group chat up here on yeah. the Patreon here. Uh, I'm going to just run down some here. Uh, Schlichter says, Andy Schlichter says, I got to bring you guys one from Tony's of West Reading. It's one of the okay. best that I've had outside or inside of Philly. I will take you up on that, sir. Um, I am always that good. We've also had another place called Spenny's open up. Not as good, but very respectable. Um, he also said that speaking of cheesesteak fights, there's a group I'm part of on Facebook that have some wild takes in there. Can you please invite me to that group today, sir? Because I need to uh, I need to see that. Um, Schlichter says Pat's is better than Gino's. Of course, as we know, um, that's like that's like uh, it's like genuflecting at church. That's how we do it in Philly. Go birds. Uh, yes. Mayo, mayo and ketchup. Here's a hot take. Here's a here's yeah, a, cause. mayo and ketchup are also no goes on a cheesesteak. Meanie, what's your thought about that? Um, uh, I've never tried it, so I can't really hate on it. Yeah. But to uh, do a little sidebar on that, uh, who was it who said they put mayonnaise on their meatball, Wawa meatball? Um, Ooh. And I tried it, and it was actually pretty good. Ooh, uh, really? Yeah. That sounds yeah, gnarly. Uh, no, no, in our uh, in our pod squad, uh. Oh my God, Andrew Bailey. He he uh, he, he said he be, he puts mayo on, on a meatball sandwich. I tried it once. Actually, pretty good. So wow. if you do, but you know what mayo and ketchup's good for? What's that? Chicken cutlets. Yes. Yes. Because as a kid, it's like it's like fake Russian dressing. You yeah, know? It, it's fancy sauce. Yeah, that's what it, it is. It's fancy. fancy sauce. It's fancy sauce. Yeah. Uh, I won't knock ketchup and mayo because I haven't tried it. But uh, if you're making me some chicken cutlets, I'm taking mayo and ketchup packets, swirling them together, and uh, putting them on my chicken cutlets, which yeah. also works with like any place that you know serves a breaded chicken sandwich, yes. ketchup and mayo. Yeah, that's the only way to do it. When I go to Wawa, I get that shit. I get the mayo and the ketchup on the chicken cutlet sandwich they have. Oh, yeah, fucking shit, dude. Let's. Fucking go! That's the way. Yeah, I know we're it. talking about cheesesteaks. We're getting a little sidebar here, but <laughs> ketchup and mayo on the cutlets, bro. Uh, yo, cause yo, cause and, 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 one here. And to bring it back to uh, John George's pork, uh, everybody raves about the Philly cheesesteak, right? Yeah. But another hidden gem in Philly is the roast pork sandwich. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure it's not a Philly exclusive, right? Because people are like, oh, Philly Day an event. Like, people like to say, oh, Philly, Philly Day an event, crab fries. I was like, no, I said they're popular in Philly. And then say, we invented them. Somebody guy gave me shit one time because I was like, somebody's like, come into Philly and uh, oh, try some crab fries. Well, you didn't invent it. I didn't say we did. Yeah, we didn't invent that shit, okay? Listen, jerk off. I just said it's popular. Jack. All right. You fucking jerk Yo, off. You fucking jerk off. Eh. <laughs> eh. The CDC ingesters go to patreon.com slash mind and meaning. 
eh, 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 eh
to say if you're going to get a cheesesteak in South Philly, you get provolone. Yeah. Provolone cheese. I prefer sharp. You know, most places do sharp or mild. I do sharp because I'm 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 a lunatic and I like to uh, <laughs> eat, th- eat things that make me go, oh, yeah, you know, but <laughs> hurt my body. Sharp provolone on a cheesesteak, fried onions, and you know, occasional mushroom. Yeah. You know, just uh, that's, a, that's a perfect cheesesteak right there. I think for me, um, I'm an American cheese guy. I, I'm not big on the whiz. I'll, I'll, put, I'll put American cheese on mine. Um, depending on where I go, though, sometimes I'll get provolone. Um, but typically on the, um, just give me American cheese with the, with fried onions, mix that shit in, let that shit melt all the way down to the bottom of the roll. Um, and then fucking dude, light me up. That's the shit right there. So. Meanie. Adam. What's up, dude? Oh man. Uh, it's just time of the year. It's got to do the, uh, the new year's check-in my friend. It is dude. It is time for that. 2024 is here in full swing. And you know what that means? Meanie it's time for a new year's resolution check-in with our friends at manscaped and newsflash. It's never too late to level up your grooming game and keep your bush tamed. Manscaped's new lawnmower 5.0 ultra is every man's cheat code to look good, feel good and turn the page on confidence this year. So whether you're going for a trim or that clean shave and look, the trimmer has you covered, trusted by over 10 million men worldwide. Now is your time to get a grip on your grooming with our exclusive offer, Meanie. Go to manscaped.com right now and use promo code MIND. Meanie for 20% off plus free shipping. The ball is dropped, but don't drop the ball on your balls. And Meanie, I want to know how are you holding up with your New Year's resolutions? How is everything looking in the in the, in the the hair department there, pal? My re- my resolutions have been strong, my f- friend. Between the uh, the ear and nose trimmer, the uh, the lawn mower, the, the the ball deodorant, and the foot spray and the beer trimmer, uh, they it, Manscaped has me covered from head to toe. I love it, and I have one of my re- resolutions was to make sure that I didn't have a Vagoda nose hairs sticking out of my nose. And my friend Mans, my friends at Manscaped, they have been helping me keep that resolution all year long. But also, I want to introduce the MVP of 2024, Manscaped's fifth generation lawnmower. It's not just a trimmer, pal. It's your grooming sidekick, equipped with two skin safe blade heads, a standard one for taking a little bit off the top and a foil blade to go smooth wherever your heart desires in the event you want Little John and Eastside boys to have that nice, smooth finish. Manscaped's got you covered. It's like having a personal stylist at your fingertips, or, or well, really wherever you need it. I mean, you, you get the idea. Uh, and did we mention, Beanie, that it's waterproof? Because a trim in the shower is the only way to start a day. And for my dudes out there who want the full grooming experience like Meanie does, look no further than Manscaped's Performance Package 5.0. Inside that kit, you'll get our trusted lawnmower, the Manscaped's ear and nose hair trimmer, and the essential aftercare products like the Crop Soother, Ball Aftershave Lotion, and Crop Preserver Anti-Chafing Ball Deodorant. Yeah, dude. It's deodorant for your balls. I bet you didn't think you needed that. And as a gesture for the new year, they even threw in two free gifts, meaning the boxers and the Shed 2.0 toiletry bag, because they know damn well, pal, that you and I have been rocking the same boxer since high school. So they wanted to get us covered with whatever we needed there. And let's face it, resolutions might come and go, but a well gro- well-groomed you is here to stay, thanks to Manscaped. So, meaning go right now to manscaped.com and get 20% off plus free shipping with the promo code MIND. Meanie, that's 20% off. Plus free shipping with the promo code mind meaning at manscaped.com. Embrace a new you and definitely embrace a new trimmer, courtesy of Manscaped. And as always, we thank them for sponsoring the program. I would I'm, I would also be neglecting my duty. I just had a, another spot pop up, up yeah. into my brain into my brain. Little hidden gem in South Philadelphia called Gooey Louie's. Yes, Gooey Louie's. Gooey Louie's, 231 McClellan Street. Uh, Dude, it's like hidden. It's like in this little shopping, I don't don't even call it a mall, but it's like a little shopping area. Uh, 
It's fucking perfect. You order your sandwich. You got the benches outside. You get get a sandwich there. Get a cheese steak. Yeah. They got benches out there. Go out there with your fries and your drink and just sit there. And if it's a, it's going to be a nice sunny day out. Enjoy that shit. You know, yeah. me and Mrs. Meany would go there, get a cheese steak, and then go down to uh, FDR Park. Oh man, at the yeah. picnic tables and just eat there. <clears throat> but um, and I don't know if we'll ever get to this sandwich. But their uh, corned beef special at Gooey Louise. Brother, you order that motherfucker and one sandwich can feed two people. Holy shit. Yeah. The way they, they, they put the meat on there, chop it up, and uh, serve it up. You can split that meal into that one sandwich into two days. Wow. And sometimes the second day it tastes even better once it's marinated into the bread and stuff like that. I had time to sit, you know, but Gooey Louise on, uh, let me read that again, 231 McClellan, that's M-C-C-L-E-L-L-A-N Street. It's <laughs> right around the corner from my house. Oh, that's and, amazing. Uh, and now, now that I'm thinking of it, I should probably pay him a visit. Yes. Yeah. They've been around so long. They were mentioned in an episode of Charles in Charge. Wow. Because Charles Charles in Charge is, I think, either supposed to be set in like South Jersey or Philly or something like that. Guys like, oh, the line of Gooey Louis is around the block. You know, so <laughs> whoever was writing the show was from Philly, you know. But yeah. Gooey Louis is fucking amazing. That's hilarious. Um. No, I mean, and let us know, too. We're going to have a poll on our Twitter account as well. So we want to know where your preferable tourist trap spot is in Philadelphia, whether or not you like Pats or Geno's. So by the time this episode airs, you will hear, you will see that poll. And don't forget to vote at it. Uh, follow us at Mind of the Meanie. And let us know, if you try these places before WrestleMania, if you're in the Philadelphia area and you try them and you're like, yo, Meanie, this is fantastic, or you're like, yeah, of course. that was the drizzling shits, let us know either way and let us know why you hated it. We will talk about it on the air, uh, and then next week we will bring up uh, additional spots for you to go. But, Meanie, I have a spot where I want us to go right now, if you will <laughs> indulge me for a moment, sir. It's not Funky Town, is it? It is not Funky Town, but rather a okay. question yeah, of course. for you. Yes, sir. Are you ready to ask me any? I would love to. It's time to ask me anything. Ask me something. This is a drizzling shit. I can't remember what regular air smells like. Don't forget to tweet us your questions using the hashtag Ask Meanie, and we will read them on the show for you. Meanie, I know what you got already, but I'm going to want to hear you say it. Yeah. Let's rock and roll, brother. I got the Bell V. <laughs> uh, pumpkin pie sparkling water, which... Like I said, uh, I just finished my first case of it. So uh, <laughs> their case is a little, they're like half half cases. But uh, yeah, man, like I said, 78 cents a case. I, you know, they got them in the blowout special. I ain't too proud to drink pumpkin until spring. So yeah. fuck it. Let's do it. Let's rock and roll. I Which, got what do you got? Cheap Johns here from the Aldi. It's uh, the uh, Sparkling Frost Black Ras- Rapsberry. So we're going to crack these suckers <laughs> here in three, two, one. There she is. Mm-hmm. Oh, that one smells pretty good. Pinky's up. Yep, Pinky's up. Oh, yeah. Howdy. Uh, you know what we got? Uh, this is going to sound cruel because I know you're trying to cut caffeine for a month. <laughs> they have a uh, vegan... Coffee creamer that is flavored brown sugar. Ooh wee! Mm. We we're like, oh, let's try it. Or no, shit, we didn't get that at fucking Audi. We got that at Trader Joe's. My bad. Either way, man. Either, Either way, I might be driving over to Cherry Hill again today to <laughs> just for coffee creamer. <laughs> I don't blame you, dude. That's I love that. I love those flavors. Yeah. We had a peppermint, John. It was a sugar-free peppermint creamer. We had at the office for months, and they just ran out recently. So I was like, well, this is also a very good time to probably quit caffeine for a little bit because I don't have the goodness here. But I yeah. got some goodness for you here. So I got a bunch of questions. I want to start at the top with friend of the show, Muscle Man Malcolm. And if you don't follow Muscle Man Malcolm, he's a wonderful guy. He's a close friend of mine as well. Um, hilarious 
uh, YouTube uh, content creator, interviewer extraordinaire. Um, you should definitely go out of your way to check out his interview with Omas that we were able to put together for him at the Royal Rumble this year. So go follow him right now on Twitter at Muscle Man Malcolm. And he's got a question for you, Mini, today. Uh, he wants to know, has there ever been a storyline or a moment that you have been a part of where you learned something about yourself and that you took into you with your personal life? Uh, not really. I mean, you know, the, the uh, crucifixion angle uh, made me uh, feel guilty because my uh, grandma was like super duper Catholic, but... <laughs> And she's raised me super duper, super duper Catholic. And uh, I was just like, ooh, thank God, she, thank God she doesn't want to show. But uh, storyline, I took him personally. Unfortunately, not really. Um, I've been a, a part of a lot of storylines, you know, Raven, Dreamer, uh, Raven, Sandman, you know, and stuff like that. Uh you know where you know the the storylines basically revolved around them, mm. not me. Uh, but uh, that's a great question. But uh, as far as if something that affected me personally, the closest one was the. Uh, it wasn't even a storyline; it was just a one-time thing. But with the uh, the crucifixion thing, and yeah, it's like ooh. <laughs> And I know, yeah. I know that we you've discussed this in detail, but maybe just previously before before the match with JBL, did they do any like spots for you? Like you know how they do like promos and stuff before the match build up. Like was there anything that happened with that with with the BWO before your match on SmackDown? No, because no, I came just... out of I came out as a surprise. Oh, okay. Like JBL went to the ring to do a promo. I came out in his limo, spray painted his limo. And then uh, we had the match. Um, I want to say there was a package about me and JBL before. I don't even know why. But before the Mexicals match at mm. Great American Bash, I, I just, somewhere there was a, 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 a replay package of the match me and him play. I can't remember where it was from though. But mm. uh, yeah, I came. I came out as a surprise, and then uh, wound up having a match with him. Uh, I've just seen the match in the, the spot. I didn't watch the entire show, so but uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't remember. I know, like I said, I found we watched the match. I just couldn't remember if there was anything that, like promo wise, that happened before. Yeah, that match was supposed to actually be longer. <laughs> uh, I think we originally had like twelve minutes. No shit. And then it got chopped down and chopped down and chopped down, and then uh, we basically started with the heat. Right. You know, right. we're like, you know, this match is so fucking, they're cutting our time so much. Let's start at the heat. Yeah. Which, you know, I saw, I read a, a quote unquote expert going, oh, a typical squash match. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> I didn't get squash I, match from that match at all. I got like, no. it's just, this is a fucking, this is a blood feud here. That's what I got. Yeah. 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 We started with the, the heat and went to the finish, basically. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, just, uh, <laughs> I don't know where it's going with that. Uh, Matt from Dover wants to know, how do you think the Phillies will do this year? Uh, pitchers and catchers just reported this past couple weeks, and he wants to know how you think they're going to do this year. I think they'll be all right, man. Um, I just wish they picked up one more piece of pitching. They got uh, that Wit guy. With, uh, he was with the Blue Jays. I can't think of his name right now. And uh, he's supposed to be – He's Really good utility guy where you could plug him in anywhere. Uh, speedy guy, um, but I think the, I, th I think the Phillies will be all right. Hopefully they, uh, you know, uh, it's weird because like, you want them to win the the, uh, the 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 East. Do you want them to win the the East? But the formula has been worked so long that just doing the wild card, yeah, and you know. Beating the Braves two years in a row, you know, uh, kind of, that, that formula kind of, it's kind of worked, you know? Yeah. It's like, oh, you, you can have the East. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll go on to the NLCS, you know? So yeah. uh, I think they'll be all right. I wish they just, uh, they need to pick up one more arm, one yeah. more pitcher. 
Last question for today, it appears. Ivan Rivers wants to know, what's yes. your favorite non-franchise Sylvester Stallone movie? Oh. Good question, man. Very good question. That's a um, tough one, too. Yeah, it is. I need to watch Paradise Alley again. Yeah. I watched it once in my life, and it's supposed to be really good. Um, good Lord, he's had so many movies. Yeah. Um, probably have to say Over the Top. Yeah. Over the Top, you know, because, uh, of course, you know, being a Van Halen diehard, Sammy did, you know, Winner takes, takes It All for the, the soundtrack. Which uh, is a rare song where uh, Eddie Van Halen played bass on it. So, yeah. uh, also, you know, Terry Funk's in the movie. Uh, Scott Flash Norton mm. is is in the movie because he, he used to be a professional arm wrestler. Uh, you know, this, it's a, the the arm wrestling movie. Yeah, and uh, so many people have you know copied that thing where you know he, he's going in for the thing and he turns the hat around backwards and stuff like that yep so, but the uh the soundtrack was pretty bang well oh my god let me punch myself for saying banging the soundtrack oh i'm 50 i can't be saying that uh the How soundtrack was fellow kids yeah yes yes that soundtrack was really good uh between sammy hagar kenny loggins uh good movie uh really good movie so if i had to pick one non-franchise sylvester sloan movie had to be over the top. Yeah, I'm thinking. God, there's so many that I really enjoy. Especially there was like that window of time from like the 80s to like the late 90s where he was just like in these one-offs that were just really good. Um, yeah, Tango and Cash was really good. Tango too. and Cash was fucking phenomenal. That was one that popped into my head right away. Um he fought the guy, he fought the guy from Maniac Cop or yeah. whatever. Um Demolition Man is probably my answer for this question, though. Um, that like consistently has been one of my favorite flicks of all time. Um, you know, Dennis Leary's in it. Wesley Snipes, uh, Jesse, the body Ventura is in the movie as well. Uh, uh, talking yeah. about the uh, wild pack of dogs. Um, yeah, that's probably my favorite. I was at, but I really liked Copland too. I really liked that movie. That was a very understated role for him yeah. where he was, he wasn't the, you know, a Rambo. He's just, you know, blowing shit up. But, you know, he's kind of like a mild-mannered kind of guy. And, co like, and that was a star-studded cast, too. So. Oh, my God, yeah. I think Harvey Keitel's in that movie. Um, let me pull it up. It's been a long yeah, time. Yeah, I, 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 I would have picked I would have picked that, but it, it technically was a ensemble cast. Let me of see. Like a bunch of, bunch of home run hitters in that movie. Oh, my God, yeah. It's, it's Stallone. Harvey Keitel, Ray Liotta, Robert De Niro, De yeah. Peter Berg, Janine Garofalo, Robert Patrick, Michael Rappaport. Yeah. Wow, there's like a ton of fucking people in this. I forgot about that movie. I think about that movie every time I drive over to George Washington Bridge. Yeah. Because that's where that accident happens and uh, Michael Rappaport's character character disappears. Yeah. Where they think he's he's dead, you know? Man. What a, I got to watch yep. that movie again. I would say, though, if, if, if answering, answering Ivan's question, though, I would say Demolition Man, um, at least for now, because I think that's going to be a franchise. I thought I heard that they were making a new one. Um, I don't know if I want to see a 77-year-old Stallone and fucking Demolition Man 2. I'm not sure I'm really... Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure I really want to uh, want to watch that, but um, I feel like they tied that up really nicely at the end with Simon Phoenix, but um, yeah. So thank you for your questions as always. Uh, we appreciate you tweeting them at us and sending them to us each and every week because we will ask them here on the show. And if you have any Philly related questions, please <laughs> pass them our way because we want to ask them and we want to talk about them as well. But meaning I want to talk to you for a second real quickly before the end of the show. Um, okay. Uh, question, Adam from Downingtown. Uh, who are you going to thank during your Hall of Fame acceptance speech? No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. Uh, just kidding. Well, not really, but uh, we are hoping to see you there. But I want to know where everyone can keep up with all things blue. I guess blue, right? Blue is your first name. Where they can keep up yes. with all things blue when they're not yeah. listening to the program. If you would like to follow the Blue Mini on all forms of social media, uh, Facebook, 
Twitter, Instagram, kind of TikTok, and now Threads at Blue Meanie BWO uh, on all forms of social media. If you would like to support the Blue Meanie, uh, get yourself a stylish BWO shirt or uh, a Meanie Mania shirt. Go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash Blue Meanie. If you would like to support Mind of the Meanie, get yourself a nice little t-shirt to support. Show the fans, show the fans of the world that you uh, listen to the Mind of the Meanie each and every week. Go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash Mind of the Meanie. Colin Elbow, the wrestling brand. Go to ColinElbowBrand.com. Use coupon code Meanie. Or use coupon code MIND and save 10% over there at conobarbrand.com. Shout out to Rod Hicks and all the, the crew over there. Uh, MadcatBeerCare.com. Uh, if you want to look good, feel good, smell good, go to MadcatBeerCare.com. Get the Blue Spruce Beard Oil and Balm. Shout out to my boy Josh Thornton doing a great job of taking care of the cats. Rounds them up, takes them to the vet, leaves them off... Leaves them uh, better than he found them. So uh, if you're a cat lover like myself, go to mattcatbeardcare.com. The Ultra Pro Wrestling video game coming to all major consoles in 2024. The Ultra Pro Wrestling video game contains not only original characters by the amazing Hal Haney, but many real-world wrestlers, including myself and many others. I'm trying not to spoil there's so many more wrestlers they've uh, got on board that they haven't announced yet, and I can't wait to watch people's reactions. So, uh, for more information, go to Ultra Pro Wrestling. Go, I'm sorry, start again and begin. Go to ultraprowrestling.com or follow them on Twitter at UPW Video Game. That's ultraprowrestling.com or UPW Video Game on Twitter. The Figure Collection's Bone Crushing Wrestling Series 1 variants of the Blue Meanie are available now. But for how long? I don't know. Uh, get the original Blue Meanie or the BWO Blue Meanie uh, because all Series 1s can be ordered right now. For now. At shop figure, shop.figurecollections.com That's shop.figurecollections.com Uh Original Blue Mini, BW Blue Mini, either one, uh, you can't go wrong. Just search Blue Mini in the uh, search bar over there at shop.figurecollections.com. Shout out to Jim Nielsen over at glaciersofice.com. Jim made a three of three only handmade custom BWO Air Jordan 1 sneaker for Stevie Nova and myself. Each pair takes Jim about 50 hours per pair. Wow. So if you want to see these awesome works of art for your feet follow him on instagram at glacier studio art that's instagram as glacier studio art uh that had the blue mini on your podcast go to podstars.net that's p-o-d-s-t-a-r-z.net register your podcast then book the blue guy for your podcast and uh, let's uh, have some fun there at podstars.net Cameo.com slash Blue Mini BWO for uh, birthdays, holidays, and well wishes. Uh, go to Cameo.com slash Blue Mini BWO. Uh, let's make somebody stay a little bit brighter uh, with one of these videos. I just did one uh, this week, so I got a promotion uh, and did a nice little, uh, nice little uh, video there. Uh, if you're going to book the Blue Guy at Blue Mini BWO uh, on Cameo. Book through the site, not through the app. The app takes too much money. Uh, it takes too much of your hard-earned money. Uh, so go to cameo.com slash Blue Meanie BWO. Uh, I will be at WrestleCon April 4th through 7th at the Downtown Sheraton in Center City, Philadelphia. So for information, more information, go to WrestleCon.com. That's WrestleCon.com. And, of course, don't forget Meanie Mania. Uh, Thursday, April 4th, 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. No cover, 21 and older to attend at McCusker's Tavern, on the corners of 17th and Choke. That's 2601 South 17th Street in South Philly. Um, you know, if you're coming to Philly and you need a perfect place to uh, kick off your, your mania week, Thursday night's, you know, the, the perfect night to come out to McCusker's on 17th and Choke at Mini Mania. But most importantly, Miss Bernard, where can we find you, sir? Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and threads 
at this is goober. Yes, it's my handle. No, I'm not changing it. It's a brand, pal. So you can go and follow me there for all of the good stuff and keep up to date with everything I have going on. You can also check out my other show, Foundation Radio. <laughs> Excuse me as I cough through this ad read. I apologize. It's this latent cough is driving me nuts. Uh, Foundation Radio is my second show. You can go and check it out right now at foundationradio.net. You can also go to youtube.com slash at Foundation Radio Pod and listen to everything there. Uh, all of my archive interviews are starting to go up. Uh, I have my shows up with Bill Goldberg, Tommy Chong, and also a YouTube exclusive, uh, which I pulled from my WCUR 91.7 FM archives all the way back in 2011. It's my one of my very first Foundation chats with rapper Yellow Wolf. It is up right now. You can go there and check it out. You'll only find it on YouTube, so go to youtube.com slash at the Foundation Radio Pod. The Feinberg Method. Use promo code Goober and save up to 20% off of your entire purchase. My trainer, Brad Feinberg, is ready to help you with your physical and mental well-being to go to the FeinbergMethod.com. Shout out to the homies at the 10th Ward Barbershop, downtown Lawrenceville in the outskirts of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Go and schedule your appointment today. Before you come to WrestleMania in Philadelphia, go out there and visit them Go to 10th Ward Barbershop.com, Pro Wrestling Tees.com slash Mind of the Meanie, Pro Wrestling Tees.com slash Foundation Radio. Pick up a shirt and keep the lights on at Casa de Meanie in the Barnard home for wayward and troubled youth. Go to Patreon.com slash Mind of the Meanie. Sign up today and become a part of our pod squad. Tears start at just $10. And you get to see us record with our lovely faces every morning when we record it or sometimes at night, depending on our schedules. So you can go there right now and check it out. Mind our uh, patreon.com slash mind of the meaning. We want to thank our sponsors, Manscaped and Green Road CBD, for sponsoring the program. Don't forget in the shop notes, as we're coming up on WrestleMania week, don't forget to go to our exclusive link for WWE shop uh, items. So it's inside the show notes. Go and follow that there. And we are a proud brand sponsor of WWE shop.com. Meaning, I want to thank you for doing the program every week. And I want to thank the Pot Squad for being here to join us. And I want to thank you for listening. So if you like what we're doing here, you like how how the show sounds, leave us a, a five-star review. Like, comment, subscribe on the videos. If you like, if you comment, it allows the algorithms of the Mr. YouTube to pick up and throw us everywhere we need to be. So please help uh, share the word about the show and let them know how fucking great we are and that you are. We are your favorite Philadelphia podcast. So for the Blue Meanie, I am Anna Bernard. Join us again each and every week as we take a trip through the mind <laughs> of the Meanie. Peace. This episode of Mind of the Meanie is hosted and executively produced by the Blue Meanie and Adam Barnard. It was mixed and engineered by Carl Pinnell. Additional narration is provided by the executive voice, Sam Kreps. That's me. Our intro music was performed by the Swamp Candles. Our outro music was performed by Chikara. Additional musical accompaniment is performed by Enrichment. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter, or X or whatever, at Mind of the Meanie, and become part of the pod squad by going to patreon.com slash Mind of the Meanie. Find our entire show archive at mindofthemeanie.com. This has been a Butts Carlton Media Production. Butts Carlton Proprietor. That was Blue Millie's brain out.